Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle, and today I am bringing a retro clothing haul. I am going back to my roots on my channel, and I partnered with Retro Stage for this video. I was gifted everything in the video, but of course, as always, my opinions will be of my own. I'm excited about this because I'm just gonna get right into it because I got a petticoat. And what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna try on every single dress that I got and then I'm gonna show you it normally and then I'm gonna show you it with the petticoat and then I'll show you how I've actually I have posted on Instagram already how I've been wearing my petticoat just as like a, a skirt itself just because there is that like famous movie scene of this girl wearing a petticoat and she's like dancing in it and it's uh, it's adorable it is my fashion inspiration and I've never gotten a petticoat before I've been meaning to pick one up for so long and I just you know the day happened when Retro Stage reached out to me and before I even picked any of the other articles of clothing, I picked up the petticoat because I was like, I don't care what I'm doing as long as I have this. I'm happy, I'm fulfilled. Um, if you guys can tell, I'm kind of battling the sun right now, which is kind of funny considering I live in Scotland and it's October. So if you see the sun come in and out in the video, um, it will be very likely that it will uh, it'll change quite a bit because with Scotland, it will be raining in five minutes even though it's sunny now. So the first item I got was the petticoat and I'll show it to you on. Okay, before I put the petticoat underneath everything, I do just want to show you it alone because I think that there's something really high fashion about wearing a petticoat without something over top of it. Obviously, it was designed to be worn underneath things, but this, or if I had my corset on, it just looks takes so long to put my corset on, so I'm not putting it on. My corset with this is such a look, so I am a huge fan of it. And it's obviously, it's fun and like flows and like goes with you. So I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of petticoat. I might wear this one for Halloween. I haven't decided yet, but it's, it's in the front running. The next one I'm gonna show you is a classic, obviously, because it is a pink sort of satin dress. It's got this cowl neck too, which I think will look so cool on. I'm actually really excited to pair this one with a belt and then some boots and even some tights really because it's gonna be cold here and really make this one fall. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like on and then I'm gonna show you how it'll look like in the sort of fall version that I would wear it in. I'm a really big fan of this color. I do think pink goes with so many skin tones, especially a little blush pink like this. I think it could complement uh, every skin tone out there, I would say. So yes, I'm a really big fan. I've got yellow undertones too, so I like... That says a bit. Oh my god, so this is the first one, and this is my first time trying it on. Can I just say, because it's like a little bit bigger, it fits me so well. Like, so well. And I think I kind of like that it's like a little bit bigger. The sizes on Retro Strange, it really told me to go towards mediums, but I think I would have been a lot happier getting smalls in a few of these items. Uh, but this one I'm happy that I got it in medium because I like this like almost baggier look. Like I think it's so flattering. I think I could wear, oh, the sun is so, is reflecting into my soul today. So yeah, I think that I could wear this to a photo shoot and absolutely rock it. I am currently watching America's Next Top Model, so maybe that's why I'm thinking it. But can we just talk about this color against against my skin tone? Oh my god. Like, I look... I look expensive. I look like a goddess. <laughs> I'm seriously very impressed with this dress. And I feel like it falls at a really nice length as well. It kind of hits me just below the knee and is a kind of like subtly sexy dress. I'm gonna show you it with the belt that I would put on as well. Yeah, so I feel like the belt makes it more wearable for every day. If I was wearing the belt and maybe like a turtleneck underneath or the belt with like a jacket on top, then I could wear this more casually and then I could wear, obviously how I just previously had it with some heels would be a lot more like dramatically formal. So yeah, I do like how versatile this dress is. Oh my God, I am, I'm a fan. And I feel like the satin itself is falling on me really nicely, so that is this one. All right, the next two I'm gonna show you are very vintage, um, but they're also both red, and that is because my favorite color to wear is red, especially when it comes to vintage red dresses. I, there's something about like this sort of vintage red off the shoulder moment that is, it is the vintage moment. 
that everybody needs. So this is the dress that I got. You'll see it obviously quite a bit better when I put it on. Um, but it is this sort of off the shoulder and it is around to the back like this in a sort of like cool like shoulder collar way. And then it flares out and then ends in like a midi length style. Really A-line. It's really awesome. I absolutely adore this era of like vintage dresses. What's cool about Retro Strange is that you can click the era in fashion that really appeals to you and then you can do your shopping based on like, okay, well I really love the 1920s silhouette so I know specifically I'm gonna go towards the 1920s silhouettes. For me, I think the 1940s and 50s is my favorite, leaning a little bit into the 60s. I'm loving what's happening right now with fashion, how like the 70s is getting a really big surge in early 2000s and 90s is getting a really big surge, obviously. But I do, my heart is in the place of the new look silhouette. Um, there's something about that that's so classic and so classy that I absolutely adore it and I always try to get that sort of like A-frame, hourglass little shape going on in a lot of my outfits that I create, so I feel like that era of fashion really does it well, and that's why I picked up this one. Okay, so I think this dress is a good example of the sizing, um, because I got this in the medium because um, the measurements were my measurements, but it is quite, like, it's quite roomy. I, besides how roomy it is though, how gorgeous is this dress? Like, the off the shoulder look, oh my god, this is, so, girl in a red dress, me before you, when she comes in and takes sweet Finnick O'Dare to the, is it the opera for the first time? Or he takes her to the opera for the first time? It has a really nice um, length to it. It, again, falls just below the knee. And honestly, if I take this in, I love this. This could be one of those extremely, like, eye-captivating dresses that you show up at a party and everyone's looking at you. Cause look, look at this. I'm, oh my leg just popped there. I'm actually floored. Um, this neckline is my favorite neckline ever. I think it's so flattering on every different body type. It is such a V and then you can see the collar wraps around too in the back in the sort of like subtly sexy little cap sleeves that go over, not cap sleeves, you get what I mean. Oh my God, and then it falls at a great length. It uh, is a really good material, like it's quite, it's quite thick, so it's like I feel supported, I feel like I'm not, I feel comfortable in it, how about that? Very comfortable dress, but a very beautiful dress, and this with the same shade of red lip, it would be very cool, and I would be on something, so I'm a huge fan of this dress, oh my gosh. Oh, and then I did promise to show you guys the dresses that make sense with the petticoat on underneath. <laughs> So here's this dress with the petticoat on. I think because the brand itself is the one who makes the petticoat, the length of it falls so perfectly because I, you know, they know, they know most of the dresses are gonna be that size. They will know the length for it. So it's so, oh my gosh, it's so funny to see myself like this. I don't think I've ever tried on a petticoat with a dress on top. I've done just petticoat, but this feels uh, a little costumey but in a really cute way. Similar, similar to that one, I have this one, which is, it's interesting because it's a different material. I'm not sure which one I like more. I think the last red dress was like quite more structured and this one's a lot more breathable, but look, wait, I, I won't show you the best part yet because this is the front and I'm a huge fan of the little like teeny sleeves that are going on. I'll show you the different ways that like I have worn it and put it on. Um, it falls down into like a midi length dress with a little bit of lace on the bottom, but what's cool is the back. So it's got this kind of corset detail in the back, which means that I am able to like adjust it more to my size and adjust it to how I want it to be. And then it kind of has different details along the front too, to just like accentuate the chest area and accentuate like the slimmest part of me um, and then flows into a, like again another like long flowy thing. So very big fan of this and it's so such a good material, so soft and flowy. It's like butter in my hands. Okay, just because I already had it on, I'm gonna show you this one with the petticoat first. Again, that length is really impressive. You can't even see that I'm wearing a petticoat. It just kind of looks like the dress naturally flows really big at the ends. I have something really comfy about wearing a petticoat. Okay, I'm gonna take it off and then talk about the dress. Okay, so this dress fits me the best. So I was wearing the sleeves wrong a second ago, and I feel like now it makes so much more sense when I have the sleeves this way. Look at this neckline. Are you kidding me? 
I love it. Oh my gosh. This dress fits me the best, and I know it's because it's got the Thai corset details in the back, so I was able to, like, put it at my size. I love this. I just can't get over how comfortable these dresses are. Like, you, I usually associate really beautiful retro dresses with, like, being a bit more, like, itchy or uncomfortable or, like, quite tight and and boned and structured, and these ones are just so comfortable. So this is the second red dress of the three that I have, and I am a huge fan of it. Oh my gosh. Um, I adore the top of it the most because I could see myself wearing like a top like just like this and then pairing it with some jeans and I think it would be a really cute top but obviously it makes a really cute dress too. I just love the details of the top the most. And then it just flows down and has the little lace at the bottom there so it's a bit more provocative. I would call it a bit more burlesque maybe just because it's got the black and red details mixed together. So that's that. The next red dress I have, uh, because I did choose three because I knew exactly what I was doing. I love the color red. It's quite a bit more uh, of a different, like, classic vintage dress. It's this vintage halter dress, uh, which is very Marilyn Monroe. And then it's like more of a, a flowy uh, material that kind of like moves with the wind and moves with everything. I think I could wear this one for Halloween. Obviously Halloween is coming up and go as like, I don't know, like a rockabilly girl and like completely rock it. Um, or screw Halloween, I could just wear it normally um, because I live in a big enough city that I could do that and I could just wear what I want. Uh, and even when I didn't live in a big city, I did that anyways. So yeah, I really like this sort of vintage style of dress. Uh, it's really sheer. I like that all of these come quite low on my legs. I mean, one, it's gonna be fall, so I feel like it makes more sense to have a longer dress. Like, it just, in general, is a better idea. Uh, but I also do like the fact that it kind of, like, is more comfortable that way. I'm not always pulling it down. It just flows and covers what I want it to cover, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. These are so much fun to try on. Like, guys, I'm alone in my bedroom right now putting on beautiful dresses. What? I love this shade of red. It's different than the other two. The other two are quite deep. This one's like more of a fun, um, like vibrant red and it suits the dress. Like it's cause it's so flowy and fun and like obviously the Marilyn Monroe silhouette. So it's got the tie halter in the back, which I just tied um, obviously to fit me. And then it's got this sort of like ruching detail here and then flows into the quite flowy bottom. Um, and I love how like flowy and dancey this is. This makes me feel like I could go out on the town and dance it up all night. Um, but in a vintage version of that picture, you know? Like I'm not going clubbing in this dress. I'm going dancing in the 1960s. Oh my god! I don't think I'm gonna try the petticoat on with this because it doesn't make sense with the dress because I love how it hangs on me and I don't need I don't need that extra volume with this. I'm actually such a fan. Oh my god. It's also just so like I will stress this again. It's just such a comfortable dress and then you can see the neckline itself and you can give yourself a deeper neckline too. That's the fun of having like the adjustable strap at the back. So oh my gosh. I'm living my best life in these red dresses. It's a red dress day, guys. All right, and then the last dress I'm gonna show you is probably the prettiest color that I've got. Um, it is this dress. I'm not sure, I believe it's like more 1930s era, 1920s almost, very Mad Men. Oh my, oh my gosh. So it's this sort of satin dress in this teal color, but it's got these button details down along the side and then ends midi slash maxi length, but you can choose how many buttons you want to do up along the edge. So I feel like it's like a super, you know, it's got this high neckline, it tricks you into thinking that it's conservative, but then as you go down and your eye is drawn more down to the different buttons, I feel like it's super nice. Also this, this color is just something I usually don't go for but I was so intrigued that I tried it and I really feel like I'm gonna enjoy this one. So yeah, I feel like Retro Strange really hit the nail out of the park for this. I did just wanna try something different because so many were similar silhouettes that with this one I wanted to see a different era of vintage that I normally don't go for. Okay, Miss Jackie Kennedy. Did I move my camera up? I'm too short here. Guys, this is so not my usual style, but I'm living for it. I also love that it ends like just at the right part of the thigh. 
Um, and you can button it up and keep it super classy, but I do like to not do that. I am intrigued by this color because of the silk sort of pattern with it. I'm very impressed at the like the way that it moves in the light and the way the color sort of like brings out my skin tone. It doesn't wash me out at all. It's awesome. So yeah, I, I like the more conservativeness of this. It's not usually what I would go for. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder only because I just am so intrigued with this dress. It's very beautiful and then I love how flattering the buttons because they start so high up and then bring the eye down. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty detail and a really pretty effect because your eye follows it along the way. Um, and then I feel like it could be really pretty if I did actually do the entire thing up. But I'm just, I love these like these satin dresses. I'm such a fan of them. Um, it could be a little bit tighter. I feel like if it is tighter then it is a bit more, uh, more provocative in a sense. <laughs> so yes, this is the teal one. This is the more, uh, 1930s, 1920s one. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a game changer for the other ones that I've tried on today. So guys, those are the dresses I got from Retro Stage. Let me know which one is your favorite. Let me know what era of vintage dresses is the one that appeals the most to you. Let me know what you think of the petticoat. Because I'm team petticoat. I love one so much. Uh, and I just genuinely think I'm going to end up wearing it like a lot more than I like originally planned it. Will I wear it out today? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you feel like subscribing. What was that twang? Subscribe if you feel like subscribing. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.